Hello and welcome to the video where today we'll be considering what study materials you will need to complete your SEMA qualification. So when you finally sit down to study, you need to be confident that your study resources will help you to learn the content easily, to confirm your knowledge effectively and prepare you for the exam comprehensively. And therefore, you need to know what to look out for with each resource so you're picking the best SEMA course to suit you. Now, materials often have either an objective test or case study focus. So we'll break it down into those categories and we're going to look at the types of product and material that you should look out for and particularly what aspects of those products you need to look out for to ensure that they are the right ones for you. So to start with, we'll look at objective test materials and what to look out for. Perhaps the most important or certainly the foundation of the course will often be a study text and a good study text or textbook can be the lifeblood of your studies, which makes sense given that they contain all the theory you need to know. And the difficulty is in finding the one that fulfills your definition of good. A key thing to look out for here is the style of the study text, and that will be key. Some providers design their study text to be concise and predominantly bullet point based, whereas others focus on making their texts flow and use lots of examples to aid understanding. And you might engage better with one style over the other, which is why it's always important to have a look at samples where they are available. Alternatively, you might prefer to opt out of study text completely and focus solely on tuition videos instead. And more on that in a moment. But ultimately, there's no right or wrong way to go. It's all about what suits you and your learning. So whilst we mention them, let's think about tuition videos. Now, tuition videos can be a great substitute or at least a complement to study text. Obviously, there's less to read and potentially a different perspective or additional insights. And if you can get them in audio form, you could listen to them during your daily run. Now, in terms of finding videos that are right for you, just like with study texts, videos have different styles and so do presenters. And picking a style and a presenter that you'd be comfortable sticking with for hours and hours are the key considerations. Even more important than that, you need to make sure that the videos cover everything you need to know, especially if you're relying solely on videos and not using a textbook. It might be that the video has been designed as a supplementary tool to be used alongside a study text rather than an absolute substitute. So do beware. Next up to consider are revision notes or revision cards. Now, the aim of these notes or cards will be to remind you of the most important facts, techniques, models, etc., rather than teaching it to you in full. Useful when time is short or for that quick last minute refresher. But they are not always beneficial. And if it's the act of making these for yourself that is most effective as part of your learning routine, then you want to make them yourselves rather than using a provider's revision notes. Mock exams are incredibly important, possibly the most important material, whether at OT or case study. And we'd recommend taking as many as you can get your hands on. Along with giving you a taste of the exams, mocks and the solutions can help you identify what you need to work on to be exam ready. So these mock exams will either be document based with printed questions or provided through interactive software. And whilst both provide experience of the typical types of questions, using interactive software versions is much better for replicating the real exam experience. In addition to mock exams, you often get questions that are provided at the end of a chapter. So kind of learning questions or summary questions. And they are great for periodically checking your understanding of the material rather than waiting to take a full blown mock at the end. They're often in the same format as the exam questions, so you can use them for extra exam practice if you run out of mocks. But be warned, mocks are designed to replicate the exam questions, but not all practice review questions will stick to that style 
as closely. You're also going to want to look out for live online lectures or webinars and some providers host live lectures online which gives you many of the benefits of classroom tuition from the comfort of your own home. And in these you can often ask the tutors questions and even when you're unable to attend the scheduled live webinar or lecture they often are recorded for later viewing or review. It may be that someone asks a question in the recording that you would have thought about asking in person. And much like the tuition videos, these provide an alternative perspective or some insights or an alternative example, which unlocks some of the material for you that wasn't clear from the study text alone. And a final product to look out for is something like an exam technique guide. The skills required for passing exams obviously requires knowing the answers, but also there's a lot more to learn there in terms of soft skills and approaching the exam. So for example, how to best approach specific types of questions or how to allocate your time efficiently. And for some, this might come naturally, but for others, some assistance is often very useful and can often be the difference between passing and failing. So having an exam technique guide can really be useful. So do look out for those. Moving on now to case study materials. These are the materials that you will find on case study courses. First of all, one of the most important things as usual, possibly even more important for case study exams are mock exams and in particular feedback and grading. Now the case study exams are difficult and they are very different in nature to the OTs. Case studies require long form written responses and that therefore requires the development of a lot of additional skills, accuracy, succinctness and clarity of your writing, getting it all done in the time allowed. And so you need to practice, which means you need to find a provider that can supply you with mocks that are an accurate reflection of the real thing and which also provide comprehensive explanatory solutions to review against your own answers. Even better than template answers, Providers may offer a bespoke marking or grading service for case study mock exams. Having an expert mock your answers is ideal because this is exactly what you'll be facing in the real exam. So this provides you with tailored feedback on where you need to improve your answers ahead of your real exam, maximizing your chances of passing first time. Obviously, for the case study exams, you should be looking for some sort of case study pre-scene analysis materials. Analyzing the pre-scene and related industry can be a long and exhausting process. And that's why many tuition providers will perform some amount of this analysis for you. However, do compare the range and quality of products being offered. And you can do this again by looking at or asking for samples of materials. A comprehensive in-depth offering will save you precious study time and prepare you more thoroughly for the exam. Another important thing here is exam technique guides, just like with the OT, but again, perhaps even more important. Because as we pointed out earlier, passing an exam is as much about the technique you apply to taking it as it is to the knowledge you have. The examiner can't give you marks for the answers that you didn't quite have time to write. Hence, whilst an exam technique can be helpful for the objective test exams, it's essential for case study. These guides and all the assistance they give in terms of how to structure your answers to maximize marks are definitely something to look out for when choosing your provider. Theory texts are still important for the case study. Some providers may isolate relevant information, theory and models into textbooks specifically for case study and what typically comes up at the case study. And this can be very helpful in understanding which parts of the other syllabi are most likely to be needed to make sure you have a firm grasp of them and are prepared for them coming up in the exams. Practice questions, as always, are important. And whilst these may not specifically relate to the pre-scene, providers can often provide generic practice questions based on common case study style problems. And as we've said before, practice and practice and practice is the key. So the more you can do, the better position you will be in. One final thing to mention is webinars. These are quite common for the case study exam 
And again, they can provide the opportunity to ask an expert any questions you have in your preparations. And again, another potential time saver and an opportunity to really make sure you fully understand the exam materials and requirements. So those are the materials you should be looking out for and the considerations to have in mind when you are looking for a course and making sure that what's on the course is right for you because ultimately you are the one that needs to pass the exam and if the materials don't work for you then they may not be right. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful and remember to like and subscribe for more Astranti content.